Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Today, in this video, we are talking about traveling with the Bing Bang, specifically flying. If you're trying to take your Bing Bangs flying to another area, to another state, what do you need to do? It can be intimidating, but it's actually a lot easier than you might think. If you just want to watch the one minute, here's, give me the uh, cliff notes. Here's what you need to know. They got to be in a hard case. Most airlines will let you put as many in a case as you want, with some exceptions, which when I go into detail later on in this video, I'll tell you what those exceptions are. The hard case that your bing bangs are in has to be locked on both ends. Most people say if it has a place for a lock, put one in every hole, and it has to be not able to be pried open where your stuff can get out. You are allowed to check 11 pounds of ammunition with you. Most airlines say that it can be in the hard case with your bing bangs. You might think it's a given, but I'll go ahead and say it. Your bing bangs cannot have the blue lights in them. It has to be unloaded. A lot of them will ask you to show them that it's unloaded. They don't always do that, believe it or not. All airlines require you to check in at the actual service desk. Old school, you can't check in on your app or out at the curb if you're checking bing bangs. You got to go to the main desk. But that's the super short cliff notes. It's easier than you might think. Got to have a hard case, bunch of locks all around it. Keep your key with you. Check in at the kiosk. 11 pounds of boo lots. And most airlines will let you put as many bing bangs in that box as you want. And most will let you put the ammo in that box. But now I have studied up on some details. The website for American Airlines, Southwest, Delta, and United. Those are some of the four biggest airlines in the U.S. Let me show you some quick details from their websites. If you're flying one of those, fast forward to whichever airline you're on. And then I'll show you a couple of my cases and how I load them up. But let's get right to it. First one we're talking about here, we're looking at the American Airlines website. So, requirements. Within the U.S., you can only travel with bing bangs and boo lots. If you're checked bags, if you're over 18 years of old, you must check them with an agent at the check-in and declare that you got bings and bangs and boo lots. They must be unloaded in a locked hard-sided container where it's totally inaccessible. Long bing bang cases require locks on each end. The boo lots must be in original packaging from the manufacturer or in packaging specifically designed to carry small amounts of boo lots with a maximum, like I said, of 11 pounds. It is not accepted loose in magazine or clips. There's a, a link to watch the TSA traveling video. That video is like 20 years old and didn't learn me nothing. Um, then it says allowance. There's no limit to the number of bing bangs you carry in your case, but bag and weight charges may apply. Restrictions. You can't have it. The boo lights and magazines are clips. And it's not accepted if you're traveling to or from Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago. They're not allowed in carry-on or checked bags or motor coach connections. So everything that I just said, there's American Airlines, a uh, hard case, lock it, 11 pounds of boo lots. Check it in at the counter. American, easy peasy. Now we're talking about uh, Southwest. This is from their website. The Bing Bangs must be in a hard locked container that is of sufficient strength to withstand normal handling. Locked container may be placed inside an unlocked suitcase. Firearm and a hard sided <clears throat> Bing Bang in a hard sided locked suitcase must be encased in a hard sided locked container. The locked container must be completely secure from anyone gaining access. Cases or suitcases that can be pulled with minimal effort do not meet the locked criteria. You should retain the key or combination to the lock and may use any brand of lock to secure the bing bang. There's another detail that Southwest says you can use any lock that you want. Uh, checking them, they will count towards the two-piece free baggage allowance for each fare-paying passenger. So with Southwest, you get to check two bags. They're saying that this counts as one of your checked bags. We allow multiple bing bangs to be transported inside one hard-sided case. Southwest assumes no liability for the misalignment of sights, 
including those equipped with telescopic sights. The fact that they put that in there means that they've screwed up somebody's sights and scopes in the past, and they had to put that in there. So <clears throat> um, then it says, what, to, what about the bullets? Uh, small arms bullets for personal use is permissible in checked bag only. Can carry it on. The bullets may be placed in the same container as the Bing Bang. There you go. And this is Southwest and must be securely packed in cardboard, wood, or metal boxes or other packaging specifically designed to carry small amounts of bullets. Then it says, when you're checking the bullets, customers are limited to 11 pounds per person. So that's not 11 pounds of bullets per bag. That's 11 pounds per person. Uh -huh. Loose bullets in magazines or clips are not allowed. Same thing as American Airlines said. Now let's go to Delta. Delta has some details uh, that is unlike some of the other ones. Bing bangs and bullets are allowed as check baggage only. They must fit within the criteria below. Declare it to the Delta rep. You are checking a bing bang. Blah, blah, blah. All bing bangs must be declared by the passenger to a representative at the main ticket counter. So same thing I was saying earlier, you got to go up to the main desk. You must present the bing bang and sign a bing bang unloaded declaration. Everything must be in a manufacturer's hard-sided container specifically designed for the bing bang, a locked case, or piece of luggage. Handheld bing bangs may be packed in a locked hard-sided case and then packed inside a soft case. Uh, what else are we talking about? Make sure you have your key on you. <clears throat> Everything is the same uh, with Delta, with the exception of, um, it says here, uh, you can only have 11 pounds of bullets. The exception here with Delta is each one hard-sided case can only have up to five Bing bangs, one scope, and tools. So read into that whatever you want to, but their website says one hard-sided case containing up to five handheld Bing bangs. Um, so they don't want you to have more than five handheld Bing bangs if you're flying Delta. Weird detail. Uh, don't know. It also says one hard sided case containing up to four rattles or shot bing bangs. So you can have four long ones in a case, they say, or five handheld bing bangs. Don't ask me why they say that, but Delta is the only one that specifies four long ones or five small ones. No idea why. All the others say you can have as many as you want in there. I mean, most cases will only hold two max, uh, some only one, but Delta specifically says each case can only have four long ones and five small ones. <clears throat> Don't know why, but that's what their website says. Then we go to United in the Bing Bang section. It says, we will, accept, we will accept your equipment as checked bags and hard-sided, securely locked Bing Bang cases or containers. Locked cases that can be easily opened aren't permitted. That's why people normally say, if there's a place to put a lock, put a lock. It'll seal it good. Most hard-sided cases have clips that secure them pretty good themselves, even without a lock. Uh, but uh, some of the smaller, real cheap ones don't hold real good. Uh, if you're traveling with a Bing Bang, again, we're talking about United here. Uh, you must check in at the counter. So they all say you have to check in at the counter. Uh <clears throat> you will not be able to check in through the United app, united.com, or an airport kiosk. So that's another good point. Get there early if you're traveling with a Bing Bang. And it says, uh, Bing Bangs are not accepted to and from Bahrain, Cuba, all these other countries, which, okay, uh, you got to know what you're doing. Got to be in a hard-sided container with a lock. The container must be locked at the time of acceptance by United Airlines. And you, the key or the combination must remain in the customer, your possession. The container must completely secure the bing-bang from being accessed. 
Locked cases that can be easily opened will not be accepted for travel. Using a TSA-approved lock can help speed up the security screening process. Handheld bing bangs must be packed in a hard-sided container with lock. The container must be locked at the time of acceptance by United. <clears throat> then they go down to say, no more than 11 pounds of boo lights, just like all the other airlines said. Also, they all say you cannot take black powder with you. So, interesting if you're taking a muzzle loader somewhere. Um, I don't know. Maybe you gotta. Ha I've never tried to fly with a muzzle loader. So, maybe you gotta have it <laughs> shipped to where you're going or something. I don't know. But hey. Those are the four main, those are four major airlines uh, here in the U.S., American, Southwest, Delta, and United. I'm actually flying here in the next couple of months to go do some deer hunting and some antelope hunting and maybe some buffalo hunting. Um, but I didn't have enough locks for one of my cases. I wanted to have enough locks. Uh, it's got four holes for locks, so I wanted four locks with one key so I'm going today to go see if we can get some locks for one of my cases then I'll show you my cases I got two ones that I can travel with let me show you this here quick just picked up the kids I gotta pick up some locks for my bing bang case so we can take it to the airport and fly and uh, on my hunting trip coming up here uh, yeah, I gotta have locks for the box. So we're up here at the Ace Hardware. You think they're gonna have some padlocks? You guys gonna find me no, or help no. me out? No. I bet they do. Hardware store without padlocks? That would be weird. Let's see what they got. And they got a bunch of locks down here. I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right. So there's our Ace Hardware here, and we got those locks for the case. Boom, it, that case has got four lock holes, so we got four locks, all with the same key, that's nice. I'm bad about losing keys for locks, that's why I had to get some new ones. Who said they weren't gonna have locks in there? Me and Robert. And Jackson said they would? Yeah, Jackson said they would. Jackson wins, Air 5. Let's go back to the house. All right, I'm gonna show you two cases that I use. I've got my pretty lovely assistant here, Taylor, can you say hi? Hi, so pretty. She's my helper. Okay, now this one, this one I believe is a Plano 44. It's 46 inches on the outside, 44 on the inside. You can see it's got holes for locks. One there, you can put a lock there. You can put a lock there. You can put a lock there. And let me show you the inside of this one. It's definitely a hard case. Can you knock on that, baby? See if it's hard. Yes, that's a hard case, isn't it? Mm. If I can pop these open with one hand. Here's this case. Like I said, you can get two bang bangs in there. You might be able to get a pistola there on the side. That's that Plano. Hard case. Made in the USA. We like to see that. And then this one's a little bit longer. You could get some longer stuff in it, but this one's the same setup, it's just longer. This one's called the Plano 52, I believe. It's got four latches, and then this one, really, if you wanted to, you could do one, two, three, four, five, six locks. I'm going to show you here in a second. I'm just going to put four on it. You guys saw me get those four locks at the store. But this 52 is pretty much what you need if you're taking some standard length long bing bangs let me uh open up these locks and show you what it looks like here on one of these cases all right now here's my plano 52 with all four of those locks on there that we got i like this one because it was a uh, shorter lock they had some taller ones but the shorter one even if these come unlatched then there's a really small room for error there see what i mean it can barely hardly not even do nothing because those locks are so short not to where it won't work or be a pain but they're almost perfect size for that 
but you don't want to give them any sort of complaint or reason to argue with you that that could be opened even if the latches spring open for some reason but that's what I use on these planos and that one key unlocks all those locks that's super nice and convenient you don't have to mess with trying to find the right lock and all that but more often than not they're going to ask you to unlock it take a look in there they probably won't have a clue about bing bangs or anything but that's the process but there you go guys quick video talking about flying with the bing bangs and the boo lots unloaded hard case locked check it in at the kiosk 11 pounds of boo lots that's about it appreciate y'all make sure you're subscribed we got videos coming out every single day appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one